located in Rome, Georgia, is the second oldest cemetery, Myrtle Hill Cemetery, built on an existing large hill overlooking the town. It was a strategic battleground in the past for Native Americans and Civil War soldiers. There are many famous graves at this cemetery, including the founders of Rome, Woodrow Wilson's first wife, a first lady of the United States, Samuel L. Jackson's third great-grandfather, the great-grandfather of The Doors lead singer, Jim Morrison, and many, many others. I will do a more historical video of the people that are buried in the cemetery at a later date. This video will show some of the famous graves and is mostly a stroll through the cemetery where you can see the sights and take in the beauty of this place. Please hit the subscribe button Ring the bell for all notifications and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you enjoy this video. Everybody, it is your girl Jessie and I am here today at Myrtle Hill Cemetery in Rome, Georgia. This place is absolutely beautiful. There's over 20,000 people buried here and you heard a little bit about the history at the beginning. So I won't dwell on that too much and there's just too many graves. I mean this is just a section. Uh, too many to show you all. Take a beautiful stroll through these hollow grounds so come and join me <clears throat> so I took a picture of this angel incredibly beautiful I'll show you some up close of that shortly I'll insert pictures I took at the end so this is the sexton's house it's not the original from the 1800s, but it was rebuilt and recreated to resemble what it would look like. So, um, I don't know if you can see inside or not. We'll try to. It's hard, it's got bars. You can see uh, people actually still work in there. So um, there's an app you can download when you come here to learn about all the people that are buried here. And according to the app, let me back up a little bit. Underneath this magnolia tree lies the graves of the original Sexton and his wives. Something very interesting about one of these wives, the second one, 
it says on her obituary that she died from banana ice cream poisoning. Yeah, you can't make some of that stuff up. Oh. But there he is. And I've gotten into a spider web. Uh, there's a tally. It's crazy everywhere I go. <laughs> you see the tallies. Let's walk up close to this uh, angel here. Whoops, I stepped over it. Not watching where I'm going. I fell over a stump. Okay. Wow. I don't know who the people are that are buried here because uh, The graves are so old, they don't have uh, names. pretty out here. What's that one say? Eighteen forty eight to nineteen twelve. It's such a pretty view. And somebody's stopping right here. Hmm. Captain Andrew Little, 
son of Elijah and Lucinda Little. Born in Arkansas in 1940, died in Rome in 1905. And then we have Eliza Little, daughter of B.F. and Ellen Owen. Born in Louisiana, 1840. Died in Rome, Georgia, 1903. So, oh, here we are. We can't say the names. Patchen. Greg's hair is out of the hair. Let's drop on further. This is the entrance right down there at the end of the hill. So at the top of this big hill, we have another mausoleum here. This beautiful angel. There's something written beside it. Oh, it's telling you how to download the app. Wow, that tree. Ooh. sure exactly what I'm hearing running. Oh, you can walk down there. Check that view out, y'all. Something interesting to note about this mausoleum you see in front of us it houses, I think they said, 37 bodies. Most of them are of unknown people. What would happen is relatives would come into town and visit and unexpectedly would pass away. During the time when you couldn't bury people in certain times of the year because of the ground, they didn't have funeral homes with cold storage for bodies back then. They requested that bodies be put into this mausoleum, and they were granted that. But unfortunately, in most cases, some people did not come back to reclaim their dead. That is Old Town, Rome, Georgia, that you were looking at. There's the river down there. Established as the second cemetery in 1857, nearby on this peak lie buried Colonel Zachariah Hargrove and Colonel Daniel R. Mitchell, two of the city's founders. On this Axon family bought lot is buried. Ellen Lou Axon, the first wife of former President Woodrow Wilson. Located in the cemetery are handsome monuments commemorating General Nathan Forrest, the, wood, the women of the Confederacy, Floyd County's Confederate War Dead, and Charles W. Graves, as representative of the known dead in World War I. This tablet 
placed by the Rome Area Heritage Foundation in 1975. Right here at the entrance of the cemetery are all of these soldiers from the Civil War. Look how many.
all these out, guys. looking for they said there's a soldier oh there he is way down there they said on the app that this grave here is one of the most photographed because this tree here in front of us was not originally planted it just sprung up on its own and this tree has overtaken this soldier's grave. And his tombstone gets more and more taken in by this tree. Pretty incredible. Of course, I wasn't recording. I don't think it was that. I don't know. Could have been that woman's door. I'm telling you, somebody. I felt somebody walk up behind me. You know how you can feel when somebody's back there and hurt. Hello? Oh my gosh. I'm not joking. I could feel them walk up behind me and I, I turned around to say, you startled me and there was nobody there. Now granted, this lady across the street opened her door and it does make a sound. But guys, like, <sighs> it was right behind me, you know what I mean? It always happens when I'm taking a picture, when stuff like that happens. I had turned the camera off to take a picture of that grave. Did somebody say hello? Whew. I mean, I could feel it behind me. Or her behind me. It's gonna be hard to hear with all this traffic. Now that's weird too. Ever so slightly, I can feel like a pull on my camera, on the thing that's holding my camera. If I wasn't hearing things, if that was really you, can you say hello again? What's more, really loud? I'm prepared for it this time. That was my sign just then, but got a spider on me. Okay, that woman's throwing away stuff. I don't know. I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff, y'all. I don't know, man. That was crazy. It's so hard to tell this road back here. Could have been what I was hearing. Well, let's go on to our next stop. Wow, look at those. You'll actually find a lot of these real huge old sandstone looking things. Oh. 
little baby. So, that's where I was up there, doing drum footage. We got more to see. mausoleum is ginormous. I noticed something first time I walked over here. I don't know if you can see that. They're at the top. Back side. Trail here. Huh, I guess you can drive up in here. I didn't think you could. You can walk up there to look around. Those steps look daunting. I saw somebody riding their bicycle. There I go. Squirrel's having a field day. Oh, let's do it. Buffalo High. Oh,
There's my car, way down there. Huh. Maybe some sort of runoff there. Look at that tree. Man, that thing's huge. I think I read on their app they had like 13 different types of unique trees here. To watch. Make sure there ain't no snakes. Ooh, I just freshly mowed this. So this is really pretty. Right down there is what they call Butterfly Garden. Ah, oh, there's the fountain. This fountain was created by a colonel who used it to water his horse when he would come visit the area. The original fountain broke. The base is still the original, but it was reconstructed. So this is the, the captain's fountain, I believe. The grave you see before you, where the angel is holding the cross, is the grave of a doctor who, during um, research on ancestry or who do you think you are, Samuel L. Jackson discovered that this was his three times great-grandfather. He was a white man, and his daughter is from the lineage that Samuel is from. It is said that Samuel comes fairly recently, very regularly, to visit this site and other family members. There's that same lady riding around.
just to show you where I am right now. This is the back of that Sexton building. If you wanted to come for a good walk, you could start at the top, walk your way down. <laughs> or vice versa, like I did. Wow, that door's open. Don't go in. I just now gonna get spider web on me. Oh. These roots are crazy looking. I almost lost my fitting. Wow. You can tell that's lying here from up above. Can you see that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just watch your fitting. It's very rocky. Mausoleum I'm approaching here is that of Mr. Barron. He was the founder and creator of the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. The Barron family has done a lot for the community, including uh, building the Barron uh, Stadium that is in town. looking in that one I washed that out or you can't even see in it <laughs> look at this does that not look like a hand with long fingernails that's crazy looking
There's a buoy. I was at Martha Berry's grave and um, Morrison grave. I am not seeing it. That must be on the other end. It is so hot. I might have to come back and look for those another day. I'm trying to find them on the map. And I'm not seeing where they are. Oh gee, that step's gone. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the cemetery. Um, there's more to explore here, and I didn't find all the graves that I was hoping to find. Um, I'll have to come back another day. It's getting late, it's work night, and I got a I got another hour and something drive to get back home. Um, and they closed the doors here at four, and it's almost four. So, I'll have to come back another day and explore this place further. If you liked it, the video, please like it. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Ring my bell for all notifications. And let me know in the comments, do you want me to come back here and explore more of this cemetery? My drone wasn't doing too good today. I don't know what was up with it, but hopefully it will do better next time. I'm hot. I'm about to die of the heat. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Searching in the dark
trusting every clue I found But the truth has not been told Cause every corner of these woods is hollow I can't see Light is breaking through, but my blinded eyes can't reveal an illusion. I can't trust it being real, so I keep on wondering until I feel you, feel that.